Like you just heard earlier, today is really about three people, the three who lost their lives. Tonight, we remember Danny Parmador, Russell King Jr., and Demetrius Hewlin. Here's Sarah Buttison. 16-year-old Daniel Parmador was the first victim who died after being shot at Chardon High School one year ago today. Dina and Bob Parmador say their son loved computers, snowboarding, playing Xbox, and to joke around. They say he was a joy to be around. Danny was a, a very Amazing. funny, outgoing, uh, lovable kid. And I, I'm really just not saying that because I'm his father. Nothing bothered him. He just had fun with his friends and his family, his cousins. It's just, he was just the best son. 17-year-old Russell King Jr. was the second shooting victim to die from his injuries. A junior at Chardon High, classmates say he loved the outdoors where he would hunt, fish, and go camping. He was described as bright, well-liked, easygoing, and thoughtful. The Mises was an energetic and a, a good young man. During this news conference last year, Phyllis Ferguson said her son was sweet and kind. Known as D, 16-year-old Demetrius Hewlin is the third victim who died after the shooting. He was a computer nerd. And he liked his video games, but Demetrius was a health nut. His body was a temple. D worked out six days a week and was often found at the gym. But he also took time for others, volunteering for Habitat for Humanity and deciding to be an organ donor at age 13. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buttison, News Channel 5. And we know that both Demetrius Hewlin and Russell King Jr.'s organs were donated mm -hmm. after the shooting. And one organ donor can save up to eight lives, so it's very important that was just touching that they did that. Very meaningful. Mm -hmm.